Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mark and this is Swamp and Stomp. And today we're going to be talking about different methods for climbing when you're saddle hunting. If you've been watching Swamp and Stomp for a while, you probably already know that we do a quarterly giveaway. And in fact, at this point, you might be tired of hearing about the quarterly giveaway. But for those of you that don't know, we are currently giving away a Summit Viper SD tree stand. It's like a $350 tree stand, and you can win it for free. Now, you'll be happy to know that you're gonna stop hearing about it because the time has finally come to raffle this thing off. Tomorrow, we will be doing that raffle but that also means that today is your last chance to get in on the raffle. So if you haven't gotten in on it yet, make sure that you click this link right here and go drop a comment, that's how you get in. Now if you wanna get some extra entries into that raffle, you can go to our Patreon page and by getting a membership on our community, you can get up to 30 extra entries into that raffle. Now let me do the math for you real quick. If you go to that video I just told you to go to, there are 300 people that have commented, meaning there are 300 people in the raffle. If you can get 30 extra entries by joining our Patreon community, that means that you have a 10% chance, a one in 10 chance of winning this raffle. That's huge. So if you're interested in doing that and you wanna support our channel a little bit more, please go check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash swamp and stomp. We'd really appreciate it, and of course, we appreciate all the support that we've been getting. So now let's get into this video. So on my back here, I have my hybrid saddle that I'll be hunting with a little bit this season. But while I've been thinking about saddle hunting, I've been trying to figure out the best way to get up the tree. Now, traditionally, when people are using a saddle, they'll tend to use climbing sticks. These are a great method to get up the tree because they're really versatile and you can pretty much climb anything that you want. This particular stick right here, I built myself. Um, it's super lightweight, it weighs about 1.7 pounds, and it's a 22 inch step, so I can get the maximum height for my, uh, for my size. A lot of people really like the tethered Predator platform, which I picked up recently. And I, I can't lie, this is a great platform to hunt from. It's super stable, but I still feel like this method it makes you carry a lot of stuff around with you and I'm still trying to think of if there's a better way for me to get up the tree. So today I'm going to show you how I would get up the tree if I was using this and then I'm actually going to try out something new and this is a um, this is the seat off of a lone wolf hand climber and uh, as you can see this folds out like that and it works just like any other climber would and I borrowed this from a friend of mine and I'm considering buying one and I'll show you how I would use this to get up up and down the tree um, and I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to make this really comfortable to hunt from all right so here's my saddle um, and I'm just gonna unpack it as you can see I've got all my gear in here I've got my harness with my lineman loop attached to it and then here I have my tether right here and then these pieces right here, these are uh, my nader and my suader. And I'll show you how those work uh, once I get everything set up. But this right here, as I mentioned, this is a nader. So it goes around your foot like that. There's a strap coming off of the one of these triangular style uh, hooks off of a ratchet strap. You wrap that around the back of your leg and you tie that in so that, that hook remains right underneath your knee. Get that nice and tight. It doesn't have to be super tight, it's not load bearing. It's just to hold it in place. Um, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. And then right here, this is your suader. And I don't actually know who named these things, but this one goes around your other foot. And there's a hook from a ratchet strap right here and a small bungee with a carabiner. And you just use that, you just clip it off somewhere on your harness so that it's, so you have easy access to it when you need it. Just like that. Okay, so the reason for the nader and the suader 
is so that you can get more out of your stick. Normally, if you put one of these sticks on a tree, you're gonna put it basically as high as you can step. Uh, so for me, that would be about there. Well, if I use the nader and sweater, I could put this so that the bottom step is about chin height. So set this by putting your weight into it. And now I can easily climb up by lifting my left leg, which has the longer suede on it, and hooking it on there. Put your foot into the tree and step up. Then with your nader, come up, put that hook on there, and step up again. Now you're up on the step. And just like that, I'm almost eight feet off the ground with just one stick. So if I use two sticks, I can get about 15 feet off the ground and have my platform set up there. So this is not a bad way of getting up a tree and it's pretty lightweight. Coming back down, it's the same thing. You wanna come down, hook your your nader onto the step and then come down find your bungee and hook your suader just like that so this is not a bad way but I want to see if there's a way that I can carry less items into the woods and get up the tree just as easily so once you use the stick climbing method you get up to where you want to hunt you could put up this predator platform and this thing is great as you can see it's super solid and once you get up there take your tether put it on the tree do a girth hitch and I like to get it as high as I can it just works better for this kind of saddle and then I got my bridge right here I'm gonna clip my my carabiner to it and I have this extra carabiner since I built this thing myself I don't fully trust it so I have this extra carabiner that clips into my tether that I hook into this rock climbing harness for extra safety adjust my tether height take off my backpack straps and then get settled in just like that so this is really comfortable and you know I can rotate around the tree very easily, take shots in every direction. I can shoot obviously to my, my good side over here, but I can also rotate around the tree like this. I can shoot over that way. I can rotate this way. Shoot over behind me. And you can even do some crazy maneuvers where you rotate into your saddle and shoot like that. So there's lots of options with this particular setup. Now, one of the reasons that this platform allows this is because it's so well locked into the tree. I can put side pressure and it doesn't budge. And this is one of the problems with using the hand climber, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So here we have the hand climber and I have to admit I have never used this before and I really believe that this is going to be the method for me. I just have to figure out how to use it. So one of the good things about the hand climber is obviously that you can climb the tree using the platform and then when you get up there you already have a platform to hunt off of. Now I have seen people use the hand climber to get up the tree and then actually carry a predator platform with them to set that up to hunt off of. And the reason is because this thing can't take side pressure very well. Once it's locked in, if I were to lean off the side and push this way, it just rotates around the tree. So that's obviously no good because one of the great things about saddle hunting is that you can rotate around the tree and take shots in different directions. 
So I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can deal with this problem. So what I'm gonna try and do is, this is all I've got with me right now, but normally I might use a cam over strap or a, a ratchet strap. This is just the strap off of that tethered platform. And I'm gonna to try to tighten this platform down into the tree so that hopefully I can put some side pressure on it and it won't budge. So first I'm gonna put my weight on it so it really bites into the tree. Those teeth get in there good. And now I'm gonna attach this. Okay, so this isn't even as tight as I would put uh, a ratchet strap because obviously this isn't a super um, like it's it's not a camming type strap but as you can see just from the the pressure that it's putting on the platform I can lean on this Ugh, I can hardly get that to move so that's really really tight in there let's try and see if I can pivot around when I'm on my platform and in my saddle. So comfortable, want to take a shot around the back side of the tree, let's see if it works. So I can shoot that way, I can pivot further, I can come back the other way. And as you can see, the, the platform does wiggle, but it won't move. I can shoot this way, back behind me. I can even go all the way around the tree if I want and shoot over that way. So this seems to solve the problem of uh, side pressure. So. You know, you kind of have to get used to the fact that it does wiggle, but it won't move. So, this might be the solution for me. So now that I know that there's a way to deal with the side pressure issue on this thing, I'm gonna see if I can climb with it, because Danny said he gave it a try with uh, the platform of his Summit Climber, and he said it was a miserable deal. I'm gonna try it with this and see how, uh, how difficult it is. I honestly feel like it's not going to be that bad. So let's see how it goes. I get my feet under this loop. Okay, so I've got the platform tied into my uh, my rock climbing harness just so that I can't drop it by accident. Um, and now the idea is basically sit into your saddle, push yourself off the tree with your hands. and climb up the tree. And then move your tether up. All right, up we go. Put my weight into it. Tighten up my tether again. Sit down. There we go. And as you can see, the angle of my platform is starting to get a little far down, but you guys get the idea. It certainly works. 
think with a little bit of practice, you can really make this work. So, pretty sweet. Now let's see how it is coming back down. Here they go. What? Here they go. <laughs> Apparently we're doing something that looks a little too sketchy for them. Sh come here. Daddy, <laughs> Dina. All right guys, so there you have it. This uh, sit and climb platform situation works pretty well. I'm gonna keep practicing with it, but as you can tell by the cops that are standing right there, apparently can't do it here for no apparent reason because I'm not breaking any laws, but you know, it's just the way it is. They uh, don't wanna be liable for me falling down, but hey, that's kind of the point of saddle hunting is almost impossible to fall, fall down. You're constantly tethered in, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with progress today, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment if you got any questions, and uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see any of our other videos, they're floating around here somewhere. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.